We're here at South by Southwest at 8th May. Oh, fuck shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the outtakes are going to be so fire for this one. Hi, my name is Tanisha Carr, contributing editor at Inc. Magazine and the curator of All the Hats. My name is Brian Brecken, general partner at Lightship Capital. We're going to review some internet content based around diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. Brian, you had a really interesting introduction to Inc. Magazine. I can, did, I did. Can you share with us what happened? So in my entrepreneurial time before I was an investor, uh, they thought about following me around. They actually sent a camera crew. Um, and it turns out that after my whole story was told, written, documented, the editor at Inc. at the time killed it. Mm. Sending a note back saying that Brian doesn't fit the archetype of a black entrepreneur because right. I'd grown up wealthier and had a few more opportunities. And they believed that uh, kind of rags to riches story or a kind of jail to entrepreneur story mm. was more appropriate. Right. So what brings you here today? Inc's got a bunch of new and open-minded managers. <laughs> I think that they're like a lot of us, like a lot of the employers we're going to learn about today are trying to do better and be better. And right. I want to help be part of that process. Oh, that's great, Brian. Uh, well, shall we watch some clips? Let's do it. Workplace diversity training, huh? How's that going? Really, really great, Lily. We discovered yesterday that diversity in the workplace to a winner. East Asian employee. Does anybody have an East Asian employee? Oh my God, I won, bingo. I've got an East Asian employee in my office. We may have a winner. Let's check it out. Obviously, East Asian employee, female you call, they got my at least one of those. Um, I've got a gay employee, I've got a South Asian employee. The free space. I've got a minority intern that works for free. We have a winner, all right. Yeah. Great example of an executive. Congratulations, sir. Damn it, I didn't have a female employee. Well, I don't even know what a pansexual is. Does it feel like that to you sometimes? I know we always talk about like ticking the box and like, playing diversity bingo? Yes. It does, it does. I don't think people are even doing that much, to be honest right, with you. Right, right, yeah. right. If we could get to bingo universally, as horrible as that was, <laughs> that would be an improvement. The question is, is it okay to not join DNI initiatives at work? Do you feel a sense of responsibility to join? I sometimes feel guilty that I don't engage in these discussions at all at work. This is a Reddit post from a subreddit called Our Black Ladies, mm -hmm. which I'm a member. And I did see this two months ago. It's really, I think, exhausting mm -hmm. to always have to explain my blackness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and always have to be empathetic even when microaggressions are happening yes and even when i feel alone because there's hardly anyone at my level in the company i sometimes feel that i need to sit things out mm -hmm. especially because i do this work all the time this is my wheelhouse but it's hard to, to have to speak for an entire people all the time. At work and at home. At work, <laughs> on the street, yeah. in the train, yeah. at home. Yeah, yeah. We're not being paid to educate our fellow employees at work, right? We're paid to do a job and do it to our best abilities. I think it's okay to opt out. Though, having said that, I think the, that these initiatives do matter. Oh, yeah. So I want them to exist so that people can, can opt in or opt out. Bullying, knock it off. Racism, knock it off. Bigotry, oh. knock it off. Crime, knock it off. Knock out all yeah. that systemic racism yeah, exactly. that has plagued us for generations. Great. Yeah, knock it off. Implicit bias. <laughs> knock it off. Is there anything worse than diversity training for a black person? Is there anything <laughs> worse? No, there's nothing. Well, there, there are a few there things. Are a few there. Things. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few things. When an African-American customer enters your store, there's a right way to greet him and a wrong way. Here's some of the wrong ways. Yo, what's up, man? Can I get the ice oh, coffee? Oh, shit, he wearing a bandana. Don't kill me. Just take the money. Mm. Hey, welcome to Starbucks. No, look. 
you was open. Now here's the correct way to greet a black person in your store. Hello. <laughs> Can we just do that? This is about the initial and obvious, most obvious things. I love if we can get these things right, because we still get these things wrong in mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. But real institutional racism, mm -hmm. like the real causes for the issues in our communities are not at the Starbucks cup. Right. Like, I, I'll tell you what, I'll trade you my name being wrong at Starbucks for like emissions into Harvard right. University or, <laughs> or like- Or being paid 35% less <laughs> exactly. than, than white women. Exactly. What do you think Starbucks is? diversity training videos really look like, though? I have to make sure that I have given enough space between myself and another patron or another uh, commuter on the train, just ensure that I'm not making someone uncomfortable. I have to make sure that my hands are visible when I walk into certain places so they make sure I don't, I'm not stealing. Um, I try to make sure I make eye contact with people who may or may not be security or managerial staff. When I go into stores, Sometimes I get followed, <laughs> which is really annoying. And it just gives me, like, it just makes me uncomfortable. And sometimes I get anxiety, so I have to leave. Especially being a teen of color, they assume that you're doing something bad. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it because was. Because that's my experience. Mine too. Yeah. Yeah, this, it's told in the first person. Mm -hmm. It's told someone's personal experience. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you something random or right. whatever. I'm not, also I'm not preaching. I'm just sharing what happens to, what me. Happens to me. Yeah, right. very powerful. Yeah, I liked it. And do you do all those things? Do you have Oh, a hundred percent. I don't leave the house without my checklist in my head. Um, absolutely. Very I, good. I actually love that. That was great. Very good. I'm Catholic, I'm this, I'm that. Uh, diversity is all those elements. I'm left-handed, scissors bother me. Like <laughs> working in a right-handed world is a challenge. And, and, and say, is this fair in approach? Do you have guiding principles that make it fair? Or is there a bias that's creeping in there? And if so, fix it. You will never tell your company that you are gay if it is illegal to be gay. Be it LGBTQ, be it an introvert, be it a mom. Be it a dad. We talk a lot about diversity, inclusion, belonging. Oh, I think that is meaningful. But as a recruiter, I always get asked to to hire that female. Like I'm calling dibs on diversity, inclusion, and belonging. She is in charge of recruitment, huh? That's <laughs> that's an example of what not to do. It has to be a professional person doing these things. It has they have to have experience, research, knowledge, um, empathy. Is there any doubt that between you, I, and the folks that are here that are recording this, we couldn't do a better job than that? Oh, we definitely could. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing, that the companies have plenty of resources all around them, mm -hmm. and they actually look past them right. to find these people. It's, it's pretty wild. So what do you think is the main thing that these companies are still getting wrong about their approach to DE&I? Couple things. They need to be some more national standards, mm -hmm. one. Two, they need to empower the DEI vice president. You know, oftentimes that person's just throwing parties and, yes. you know. So Common came down and did a concert. Wonderful. But that's not pushing things forward. How can companies be more effective with their DEI goals? What is a goal? What is a DEI goal? Well, their programs, their oh. DEI programs. Like, how can they be more effective? You Fire think? people. <laughs> <laughs> fire everyone and start again. <laughs> well, just, <laughs> well, fire the people that are like, don't just like, okay, Bob, you gotta be a little better next time, right. you know, gotta stop using the N word in the office. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, like, right, fire right. Bob. Right, fire, fire Bob. Bob. Fire Bob. Fire Bob. Fire Bob. Mm -hmm.